the Chartered Institute of Personnel Management of Nigeria has joined other professionals to adopting artificial intelligence technology as a means to learn new skills in data processing at workplaces. This was contained in its 22nd annual conference held in Abuja with a team, Human Resources Technology, Building the Future World Places. While speaking to Delegate TV on the importance of the conference, the president of the Chartered Institute of Personnel Management of Nigeria, Olushegu Mojid, said human resources professionals will not let go the opportunity of making use of full technology from its beginning to the high level of artificial intelligence. The, the, the central message is straightforward, no complications. We are looking at technology and we are looking at the future. Um, you had it in my opening speech. We have witnessed and we are still witnessing the rise and rise of technology. Now we have so many applications we are using to facilitate our work as HR professionals. Nevertheless, we are still about people. That's the reason for gathering. We are still about people who are human beings. That is the, what this profession is still all about. However, we will also not let the opportunity pass us by. The opportunity of making full use of technology. Moving from the, 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 the beginning of technology to the medium space, to the higher level of machine learning, of artificial intelligence, we want to be in the forefront of doing that. And at the same time, we are telling our people that the human race is not about to disappear. So don't come here with the, the scare more of the job. And how you could machines are taking over from human beings. Now, I'm telling you, in my life as a we still have a long way to go to develop those machines that, that we eventually take over. And you had me in my speech giving the analogy of VAR in like football. That is a technology in action. But what has VAR done? VAR has opened up the job space to five additional people. Have you been watching the World Cup? Five additional people in that room. So you see, that is what technology does. It enables. Technology facilitates. Therefore, we, are, we as HR professionals, the essence of this gathering is that we are embracing technology fully. We are preparing ourselves for the future. And we, that future is already here. Like you heard me say it, it start, that future started yesterday. So we are here. The essence of gatherings like this is to improve our knowledge. Is to improve our knowledge. Is to is to make us ready for the technology that are yet to be developed. So I would rather suggest, if you see it as competition, I would rather suggest that you, you approach it from the angle of competition, the angle of collaboration, that whatever technology you have, make, your, you know, make sure that your people come together within the organization interdepartmentally to make the best use of the competition. And if you have the, any need to collaborate with other organizations, Bring technology. You see now, you know, look at this. By technology, a lot of people are connected to this program from Lagos. My entire leadership is on this call, the National Treasurer, the Vice President, the, 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 the Registrar. They all on this call. That is what collaboration is. I'm the only one among the people that is physically here. And we are all enjoying this together. So it is. And for the first time in a long time, he's a good to give us that push. And he believes in God. However, Francis Oniwon, who was one of the resource persons at the conference, believed that artificial intelligence could not do more than what human could do at workplaces.
Really, I don't think artificial intelligence will do much more than what humans do. We we have uh, instincts, and these instincts will also make us open up to more ideas. Artificial, artificial intelligence might just be driven to one particular location, uh, one direction, whereas with humans, we will be open to different opportunities. So, and I think with the aid of technology, we will do better as HR professionals. Also commenting on the significance of using artificial intelligence at workplaces, the chairperson of the planning committee of the conference, Christiana Aymofume, opined that artificial intelligence could help a staff do his or her official work in absentia. The conference has a team. HR tech building the future spaces. Yeah, we all know that technology is driving events, it's driving everything we do, it's driving whatever we do in the workplaces. And we do not fall back to the traditional ways of working anymore. So we have technology aiding us and helping us in our work. So if you discover that in most places you have um, AI as artificial intelligence working for you, where you go to chicken report, even when you came into this hotel, by your the sensor, you walk towards the door, it opens for you. So that's artificial intelligence. So it's in a way that as a child person, we are yearning towards that way to make sure that even when you are not there in person, you know, your technology should do the job for you. Like what happened during the COVID, we are not praying for such virtualities anymore. So that's why we are trying to prepare ourselves as HR. So let us prepare ourselves for the future. Wherever you are, it should be your workspace. And with the help of technology, come to the workplace. We are here right now. I know what I've done. I'm not physically present in my office, but with the help of technology, I know what I've done. I've responded to mails, I've responded to one or two queries, information from the office, and it is the use of technology. So we want to build in our colleagues and personnel. Let us drive that culture. That's the reason for one of the uh, data driven, data analytics, people analytics. When you are able to analyze your data, you know. It informs your decision. You so this is actually the the thing, the idea behind it. What would you do with a million dollars? In summation, the president of Chartered Institute of Personnel Management of Nigeria, Ulishegu Majid, called on all human resources personnel to embrace artificial intelligence in their daily data processing in order to meet up with emerging technology. I am Augustus Oche Ifene, Delegate TV, Abuja. Where are all my farmers and owners of agro-related businesses? This is for you. Here at Drag In, we assist rural farmers in getting the right machineries in order to improve production. We export the farm produces to the first markets all over the world. We provide easy access to loan facilities from the financial institutions. Here at Drag In, we train both local and commercial farmers on ways to solve problems in the agricultural sector using modern technology. We also bridge the gap between the local farmers and the mechanized companies in the areas of getting adequate resources while also providing adequate security to the clients in order to prevent the loss and damage of farm products as well as the machineries. What are you waiting for? Visit www.drivein.com to get started.